Welcome to PCMRP's video tutorial series. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate PCMRP's receiving module. PCMRP's receiving modules allows users to receive items from a PO, edit a receiver, print or display a receiver, print or display a receiver report, print receiving labels, and return items to a vendor. To enter a receiver, select Modules, Receive, and New. PCMRP needs to know the PO number we are receiving, so answer yes to scroll the purchase order file. I can scroll and look up by PO number, a vendor's account number, part number, model number, or date required. I will enter the PO number 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, and click on the search button and then the OK button. PCMRP will display a PO preview screen. Looks correct to me, so I'll press the Accept button. Next, PCMRP issues the next available receiver number, so I'll press the OK button. PCMRP now displays the data entry screen. The quantity, expected for, the quantity is the expected quantity from the PO. If the quantity does not match, enter the quantity you're receiving. You can also enter the condition of the part. For example, I could enter that the shipping box was damaged. Once I'm done, I can press the OK button and receive the item. After I hit the OK button, PCMRP will automatically increase the on-hand quantity for the part number in the part master, decrease the on-order quantity for that part number in the part master, recalculate the average cost per unit for that part number on a weighted basis, increase the quantity received for that line item in the PO, and update the date received for that line item on the PO. You notice that PCMRP left a message concerning each of those adjustments. You can adjust the timeouts of those messages from 0 to 9 seconds using option 30 in the Configuration, Settings, and Utilities module. If a part number was checked as serializable and the serial lot number module has been activated, PCMRP will prompt you to enter serial lot numbers. If the part number had been set to create an inspection requirement, PCMRP would have created an inspection requirement record letting QC know that these parts have been arrived and require inspection. This part was not checked as serializable, nor did it require inspections. You are welcome to view the serial lot number and inspection videos to see those functions in action. I can now print out or display the receiver. I can print out a standard or custom receiver with my company logo on it. I can select display, print, email as PDF file, create a PDF file, email as HTML file, or create an HTML file. I will select custom and display. Of course, your company logo instead of our company logo would print out on your receivers. I will now return to the main menu by clicking on the X box in the upper left corner. Now let's say I made a mistake on the receiver and there are really only four in the box instead of five. So let's say that I edit that receiver. I'll select Modules, Receive, and Edit. I'll make sure that the Edit Radio button is selected. I can press the Save Settings button and save my edit as my default setting. I will select my receiver number and press OK. So I'll change my quantity to 4 and press the OK button. PCMRP now offers to make all the adjustments to, P to the PO and Part Master, including the Part Master's average co unit cost for that part number. Once you are finished with the receiver, print the receiver out by selecting Modules, Receive, Print, and Single. Once you've printed out the receiver, staple the vendor's packing list to the receiver and send them both to the county, along with your other receivers. There the accountant will wait for the vendor's invoice. Once it arrives, she will check the vendor's invoice against your receiver and the packing list. If everything is okay, she'll post the receiver. PCMRP will automatically debit inventory or an expense account and credit accounts payable. Later, she'll expense the receiver. PCMRP will automatically debit accounts payable and credit the checking account and print out a check for that vendor. To print out or, dis to print out or display a receiver report, select Modules, Receive, and Reports. Here I can select All Receiver Records, 
all for a part number, all for a vendor, all for a related document number, all for a PO number, all for a QuickBooks batch number, all for a vendor invoice number, etc. I can select a date range. I can include all open, that's unpaid, all closed, that's paid, open and closed, or overdue, which is unpaid and past the uh, payment due date. <clears throat> I can sort the receiver by receiver number, part number, vendor, date, due date, etc. And I can send the report to display, print, PDF, ASCII, Excel, or DBF. You can select a standard format or an unlimited number of custom report formats that can be created by using Configuration, Settings and Utilities, Option 24. If you check the Save Settings checkbox, PCMRP will remember your default settings for this report. Once again, I'm going to hit the Cancel button and return to PCMRP's main screen. Well, I hope I have shown you how PCMRP can help you streamline your receiving process. Thank you.